Hello guys, welcome back to Chris Polly channel. This video I want to share about global app update for 24 December 2021 maintenance update. But be notice all content on this global app video was recorded on global app server. So this is all content that will update on our live server in future. And mostly all this update will implement on Korea live server for next maintenance update and following outside Korea server if they or they feel this content already ready to release outside Korea server globally. Okay, to enjoy Enjoy watch my video, make sure you turn on this video subtitle and also you can use timestamp that I already provide to go to target topic that you want. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on bell notification to get any update and guide on Black Desert World. Okay, let's start this video content using any feature that I provide. Okay, this is official website for global app update at 24 December 2021. First future update they mention about new region, Mountain of Eternal Winter. But but until this time, they still lock this Mountain of Eternal Winter region on Global App Server. So I cannot show you more detail for this Mountain of Eternal Winter area on this Global App update right now. Because they will update on official Korea server at 29 December 2021, next maintenance update. And they still working hard to prepare this Mountain of Eternal Winter region for outside Korea server. And as they already mentioned before, outside Korea server got delay because translation process. And they show us some more screenshot for this Mountain of Eternal Winter Area. I hope after 29 December 2021 maintenance update on Korea server, they also unlock this Mountain of Eternal Winter on Global App server. So anyone from another region can try this new region despite this content still didn't translated in English or another language. But at least this Mountain of Eternal Winter, we can test it on Global App server worldwide, not only for Korean player or another region server player that illegally playing on Korea server. Okay, next they also already update this library helmet at the same time with this mountain of eternal winter region update as previous or dimension previously more detail on last scalpion ball 2021 event but in this global app website they didn't mention anything about this labreska helmet so more detail information you can check on my previous video about scalpion ball 2021 summary for more detail and next improvement for any character in future if you using black spirit rates either for 100% or 200% in future if you using black spirit rate skill either for 100% and 200%, you also will get Black Spirit Red buff, but only for 40 seconds. And if you using 100% Black Spirit Red skill, you will get this Black Spirit Red buff, additional plus 30 AP, and increase attack and casting speed plus 25% for 40 seconds after using this 100% Black Spirit Red skill. And if you using 200% Black Spirit Red skill, you also will get this Black Spirit Red buff, additional all AP plus 50, and also attack and casting speed speed increase plus 40% for 40 seconds. As you can see, when my character Black Spirit Rates reads more than 100%, when I using this 100% Black Spirit red skill, I just got this 2 buff for 40 seconds. So in future, nothing to lose if you using your Black Spirit red skill, either 100% or 200%, because you will get this Black Spirit Rates buff, but only 40 seconds. Instead, pressing Z to get this Black Spirit Rates buff for 60 seconds, because most people, including me, prefer using this Black Spirit Rates to get Black Spirit Rates buff rather than using Black Spirit Rates skill to maximize efficiency when grinding monster. But after this update, because if you using this Black Spirit Rates skill, you also will get this Black Spirit Rates buff, but only for 40 seconds. And next about class balancing, actually I didn't see any buff or debuff for any class, but they just fix some issue for some class after this class reboot update. And also on this global app update, they also mention about Black Spirit sub weapon, and this is example for Black Star Sub Weapon, Black Star Quoratum for Nova class. Actually, long time ago, I already see this picture for Nova class using this Black Star Quoratum. But right now, we confirm this old picture is Black Star Sub Weapon for Nova class. And to craft this Black Star Sub Weapon, same as previous Black Star gear, you need Remnant of the Reef, One Piece, as material to start this Black Star Sub Weapon questline. And also, you need another material, Spectre Energy, that you can get it by grinding on several grinding zone. And and same as another Black Star quest line, you only can do this Black Star quest line once per character. And I think this quest line is nearly same like Black Star Awakening Weapon quest line. So we also need three boss gear to be melt to become concentrate boss aura. So if you want to craft this Black Star sub weapon in future, you can prepare Remnant of the Reef one piece, Spectre Energy one piece, and also three pieces boss gear to be melt to become boss aura. Okay, next improvement for Tufala weapon exchange coupon. In future, you can use this Tufala weapon 
Weapon Exchange Coupon to switch your Tufala Weapon to another class, either for Tufala Seasonal or Normal Tufala Weapon. As long as that weapon is Tufala Weapon, either Seasonal or Normal Tufala Gear, you can use this Tufala Weapon Exchange Coupon to switch it to another class in future. Because previously, you only can use this Tufala Weapon Exchange Coupon to switch to another class while still Seasonal Gear. And you can get this Tufala Weapon Exchange Coupon by free by using Fugar Timepiece to transfer your Seasonal status and copy level for your character to another normal character. And you can save this Tufala Weapon Exchange Coupon that you get from this Fugar Timepiece for another time, even this Seasonal or the end. And another future update for Ocean Content, in future any ship that park near any port will automatically deposit to nearest wharf manager if idle for one hour. So in future, we will see less park ship around any wharf manager. And also another fix and change, but I think all of this not too a big deal. Okay, that's all global app update for 24 December 2021 maintenance update. And special thanks to all my membership for direct support via Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership. And also my current member, Zekru, Dubiadut, Jimmy Snack, Doki, Aganim Skepter, Rene Gets X, Homi, Ayrton, Tepan Gaming, Kill Steel, Wemi, Cloudy, Yox, Munpai BDO, Jan Andres as gold member, and also all my silver and bronze member. Thank you so much for all your direct support. This will make Chris Poly channel running and growing more faster. If you want to support me directly, I will very grateful. And as special thanks, I will put your name on my video, depend on your support level. And be noticed for some level, there are have some limit. So make sure you didn't get run out for this limited space. And I will put your name on every subsequent video that I release for the duration of your support. And if you want to join my membership to support me directly, you can go to any platform for Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership. I already put link for this membership on this video description. Or you can check on top right of this video, I already put card for Patreon link. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe to my channel for another guide and update. Thank you for watching. See you next time.